بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Math Grade 7 We are in the model 4 Today we have the third lesson Subtract rational numbers Subtract rational numbers In this lesson we want to learn Subtract rational numbers By adding and additive inverse So subtract rational numbers to subtract rational numbers in different forms, write the numbers in the same form. Write the numbers in the same form. So, the animation shows how to rewrite a problem using a decimal. This method, method works if the mixed number can be written or rewritten as a terminating decimal. So, rewrite using decimals. The first step, write the mixed number or fraction as decimal. For example, here, as you see, you have 2 and 2 over 5 minus 6.55. Here you have mixed number, here you have decimal. So, how to do this problem? Change, change the mixed number here to the decimal will be 2.4. Then you can do subtraction here, 2.4 minus 6.55. The second step, subtract the decimals. We can do subtraction here, 2.4 plus negative 6.55. The rule set takes the sign of the big number, then subtract the two numbers here, 6.55 minus 2.4, 6.55. 55 minus 2.4. You can put here 0, 5 minus 0, 5, 5 minus 4, 1. Put the point, then 6 minus 2 will be 4. So the answer will be negative, negative 4.5. The answer is that the four point fifteen. So the animation also shows how to rewrite a problem using a fractions or mixed number. This method works when the fraction or mixed number cannot be written as a terminating decimal. So rewrite using fraction or mixed numbers. The first step here, write the decimal as a fraction or mixed number. So as you see in this example here, you have 4.6 minus 2 and 2 over 3. We can change the decimal to the mixed number. So uh, 4.6 will be 46 over 10. 4.6 means 46 over 10. How to change uh, this fraction to the mixed number? We can do long division. You can write here 46 and here 10. Then, which number multiplied by 10 equal 46 will be 4. 4 times 10 will be 40. So 6 minus 0, 6, and 4 minus 4, 0. So you have here the quotient 4, and take the remainder, put it in the numerator, and the divisor will be the denominator. So 4 and 6 over 10. You can do simplest 4 here. Divide 6 by 2 and 10 by 2. 6 divided by 2 will be 3. And 10 divided by 2 will be 5. So the answer will be 4 and 3 over 5. 4 and 3 over 5. Minus 2 and 2 over 3. And we cannot, we cannot do a subtraction between the two mixed numbers here because here we have different denominators must to make it common denominators. You can switch, take three, multiply here by five, and take five, multiply by three. So multiply the fraction here by three. Three times three will be nine. Three times five will be 15. 
and multiply here by 5. 5 times 2 will be 10, and 5 times 3 will be 50. Then now we can uh, do the uh, subtraction here. <coughs> so rewrite a fraction with a common denominator, then subtract the fractions or mixed numbers. So uh, here, uh, 4 and 9 over 15. Here we have 9 and here we have 10. We cannot do this operation because 9 here less than 10. So we can uh, take one from 4, borrow one from 4 and add it to the fraction. So uh, 4 minus 1 will be 3. Then add 15 over 15 plus 9 over 15 will be 24 over 15. Plus negative 2 and 10 over 15. So 3 minus 2 will be 1. 24 plus 10 will be 14 over 15. So this is the answer. Now, use the chart below to find out how to subtract original numbers written in different forms. And here we have terminating decimals, like negative 1 over 4, 3 over 8, 7 over 8, etc. So if the fraction are decimals, the terminate use decimals or fractions to subtract. For example, suppose we have negative 0 0.90, negative 1 over 10. As you see, here we have decimal, here we have fraction. So in this case, you can change the decimal to the fraction. So 0 0.9, you can write it negative 9 over 10. Here we have the same denominator. You can do the subtraction directly. As you see, here we have negative and here negative. You have the same sign. So the rule, the rule said, when you have the same sign, put the same sign, then add 0.9 and uh, plus 0 0.1, 0 0.9 plus 0 0.1, 9 plus 1 will be 10, and here the point, and here 1. So the answer will be 1. The answer will be 1. In the second case, if you have non-terminating decimal, like negative 1 over 9, 2 over 3, 11 over 15, etc. So what we do here, if the fraction are decimals that repeat non-zero digits, use a fraction to subtract. For example, you have negative 1 over 6. Don't change this fraction to the decimal, because here, if you change this fraction to the decimal, you will get non-terminating decimal, non-terminating decimal. So keep the fraction then change the decimal to the fraction. So 0 0.125, you can change this decimal to the fraction, 125 over 1,000. You can do same list for here, divide up by 125 and down by 125, 125 divided by 125 will be 1, and 1,000 divided by 125 will be 8. So the fraction will be 1 over 8. Now, how, how to do this subtraction? We cannot do the, the subtraction directly because here we have different denominators. So what I do, and you can find the LCD between 6 and uh, 8. Or you can switch the uh, denominators. And, uh, the LCD between 6 and 8 will be uh, 24. Which number times 6 equal 24? Multiply here by 4. Which number times 8 equal 24? Multiply here by 3. So the first fraction, 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 6, 24. Minus 3 times 1, 3, 3 times 8, 24, uh, 
the rule said when you have the same sign, put the same sign, then add <coughs> 4 plus 3 will be 7 over the same denominator. So the answer here will be negative 7 over 24. Subtract rational numbers, find negative 3.27 and negative negative 6.7. To do uh, this problem, use the same rules to, sub to subtract positive and negative decimals as a subtracting, uh, a subtracting integers. So, we have here integers 3 and 6, the whole numbers. So, we have negative 3 minus negative 6. Negative, negative, negative times negative means a plus. So negative three plus six. You have different signs. When you have different signs, take the sign of the big number means positive, then do subtraction. Six minus three will be three. So negative 3.27 has a decimal, the, the, the whole number here, minus minus 6.5. Minus minus means the plus. Then do subtraction between them. Here we have 3.27. And here we have 6.7. Then you can do subtraction here. As you see here, the small number up and the big number down. So must to switch to can do subtraction. So right here, six and here seven, because 6.7 greater than 3.27. So we can put here zero. Zero minus seven, we can't do this operation, borrow one from seven, seven will be six and zero will be 10. 10 minus 7 will be 3, 6 minus 2 will be 4, and with the point 6 minus 3 will be 3. So the answer will be 3.43. So because uh, the absolute value of 6.7 greater than the, abs the absolute value of negative 3.27, so the sum will be have the same sign as the big number here, 6.7. So it will be positive, it will be positive. Fine. Look to this exercise. You have here negative 4.2, negative 3.57. Fine. As you see here, we have the same sign here, negative, here, negative. So the rule set put the same sign, then and. When you have the same sign with the same sign, then add the numbers. Here, seven, two plus five, seven, drop the point, four plus three will be seven. So the answer will be 7.77. 7 here we have mixed number and here we have mixed number. We can change the mixed number to the fraction. How? Five times three plus one. Hello, five times three, 15 plus one will be 16 over three. And here, four times nine, 36 plus five will be 41 over nine. So minus times minus will be plus. Here we have the same denominator. So we can add uh, directly. 48 plus 41 will be 89 over 9. Then you can change this fraction to the next number. How you can do long division.
89 divided by 80 will be 9. 9 times 9, 81. 9 minus 1 will be 8. So the quotient means the whole number 9, and the remainder will be the numerator, and the divisor here will be the denominator. Here the same idea. At the first, change from mixed number to the fraction. How? 3 times 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. Over the same denominator. Minus, minus with the plus. Here, 1 times 10, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. Over 10. Hello, we cannot add directly because here we have different denominators. So we can multiply here by 5 to get the same denominator. Five times seven will be thirty-five, and five times two will be ten, plus thirteen over ten. So put the same denominator, ten, and thirty-five plus thirteen will be forty-eight. Then you can change to the mixed number. Two long division, 48 divided by 10, equal four, four times 10 will be 40. The remainder will be eight. So the quotient will be the whole number. And this is the remainder in the numerator and the divisor will be in the denominator. Then you can do simplest form. You can divide up by two and down by two. Eight divided by two would be four. And 10 divided by two would be three. So the answer would be four and four over five. Now, evaluate expression. Evaluate expression. We have this expression, x minus y. Suppose the value of x equal negative 2 and 4 over 5, and the value of y will be 1.4. Determine if the mixed number is a decimal that terminates, because negative 2 and 4 over 5 terminates. You can use either decimals or fractions to subtract. Type. We have two methods here. The first method, write the expression x minus y, then uh, substitute. What is the value of x? Negative 2 and 4 over 5. Right here, negative 2 and 4 over 5. Minus, what is the value of y? 1.4. Now, change, change, from mixed number to the decimal. And here, how to change to the decimal? Uh, add the first, change to the fraction. Two times five, 10, plus four, 14, over five. How to change to the decimal? Multiply up and down by two. To change five to the 10. 14 times two will be 28 and two times five will be 10. 28 over 10 means 2.8. This is as a decimal. So right here, negative 2.88, because here we have negative. Then negative 1.4. Now, as you see here, you have the same signs. So the rule set, when you add the integers, have the same signs with the same sign, then add the numbers. 2.8 plus 1.4 will be 4. The second method, we can change the decimal to the next number. How? The first step change the decimal 1.4, change it to the fraction. Will be 14 over 10. Uh, 
then change it to the mixed number do log division 14 divided by 10 will be 1 1 times 10 10 14 minus 10 will be 4 so the whole uh, the quotient means the whole number the remainder means the denominator and the divisor means the denominator then you can do simplest form here divide by 2 divide by 2 4 divide by 2 will be 2 and 10 divided by 2 will be 5 so the answer will be 1 and 2 over 5 then as you see here uh, the two fractions here have the common denominator so we can do subtraction or addition directly uh, we have the same signs or we can change it from mixed number to the fraction 2 times 5 10 plus 4 14 over 5 and here 1 times 5 5 plus 2 7 over 5 we have the same denominators then here minus here minus means with the same uh, sign then 14 plus 7 will be 21 over 5 then change to the mixed number will be negative 4 and 1 over uh, 5 so this is the value of x minus 1 and when x negative 2 and 4 over 5 and y equal 1.4 so the value of this expression will be uh, negative 4.2 or negative 4 and 1 over over 5. Here the same idea. And we have uh, this expression x minus y. And we want to find the value of this expression. So substitute. What is the value of x? 3 and 3 over 4. 3 and 3 over 4. Then minus. What is the value of y? Negative 4.2. And we can change the mixed number to the fraction, to the fraction, then to the decimal. Or we can change the decimal to the fraction, then to the mixed number. It's up to you. You can do the two method here. And, uh, for me, I will change the mixed number to the decimal. Uh, how? Change it to the fraction at the first. 3 times 4, 12. 12 plus 3 will be 15 over 4. How to change uh, this fraction to the decimal? We can do a division between numerator and denominator, or we can uh, uh, multiply up by 25 and down by 25. And 4 times 25 will be 100. Then we want to multiply 15 times 25 5 times 5 25 5 times 1 5 plus 2 7 put here 0 2 times 5 10 2 times 1 2 plus 1 3 Then you can add, here you have 5, 7, 3. So the answer would be 375 over 100 means 3.75. So 3 and 3 over 4 means 3.75. Minus times minus means positive, 4.2. As you see, you have the same signs here, positive and here, positive. You can add directly. How to add the two numbers here? 
3.75 with the point under the point for the whole number under the whole number. And the parts of tens under the parts of tens, then you can add here five, seven plus two nine, drop the point. Then three plus four will be seven. So the answer will be seven point ninety one. This is the idea of this lesson. Who has any question about this idea? Is it everything is clear for all? No questions? Is it clear for all? Okay. So I will send to you the uh, PowerPoint. You can study the lesson from the PowerPoint point. Then go to the homework to make training about the exercises. Then check uh, your work from the answer homework. Now, if you have any problem inside any question, uh, you can ask me tomorrow, inshallah, in the uh, lesson. So this is our lesson today.